Welcome to Base Performance Simulators, where this morning we are going to be going on a couple of simulators, a Formula One simulator and an Aston Martin GT simulator, before heading over to Silverstone this afternoon to see Esteban Ocon once again, have a little chat with him, go in a passenger lap experience and an aerial atom with him round Silverstone, as well as have our own experiences in the Aston Martin and Ferrari over there. What are we waiting for? Let's get stuck in. After the driver's briefing, I jumped straight into the Aston Martin simulator to familiarise myself around Silverstone, not that I needed it, whilst getting guided by an instructor before being let loose in the single-seater simulator based off of a 2014 F1 car. With none other than Esteban Ocon himself watching over me and giving me tips, Esteban managed to help me clock in a 136.3, which was the best of the day. You slow up here, you the steer, comes the car. So I've just come off the simulator and had Esteban in my ear, just giving me a few tips. They were actually quite useful, but I think most of it was just getting used to the simulator. And then good old Alistair, who's behind the camera, decided that uh, he'd, he'd ask for me to get have low traction control. Not none, but low, but he told me medium. So I was obviously flooring it a little bit more out of corners. And I was wondering why I was getting absolute tank slappers, and that was thanks to him. So it was on low traction. It was awesome to have Esteban you know, helping, helping out. It's such a good sport. I'm still a little bit jittery, because that was nerve wracking, having a Formula One driver watch you on an F1 simulator. So we're going to be heading to Silverstone in a bit, and that's where Esteban will be taking me round in an aerial atom. So we're here at Silverstone. Esteban Ocon is popping out for a sighter, I think that is, in the aerial atom. I'm going in a passenger lap with him very shortly. And also, I'm going to be driving a Ferrari F430, and Alistair, who's behind the camera, is going to be driving an Aston Martin Vantage V8. So let's go! Unfortunately, it was at this time that Aerial Atom caught on fire midway through the passenger lap of fellow YouTuber Tom Matthews. This meant that I couldn't actually go out with Esteban in the Atom, but I did still go out for a lap with him in the V8 Vantage instead. Was it good fun driving the Atom before it broke? Yeah. Small grid though. Yeah? yeah? That's good to hear. We haven't blown up yet. I don't know how you've done traction before. You want to slide it out more, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Here it is. It doesn't work. Ah, now it is. Ah, now we can have some fun. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. The brakes are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> no problem, man. Thank you very much. We've just come out of the passenger lap experience with Esteban Ocon who I believe is just arriving. There he is with uh, another one of his passengers. And it was awesome, really good. And not quite the same probably as the Aerial Atom, which actually went up in flames uh, just before I was about to go out. So unfortunately had to go out on the Aston Martin, but who can, I can't really complain. And he actually turned off the uh, traction control as well halfway around, which was really cool and had a little chin wag. So really cool day so far. And I'm just waiting to go out in the Ferrari, which uh, is about to come right now. It's gonna be awesome. As you can see, my eyes are on stalks as I head out for my Ferrari F430 experience around Silverstone. It's the first time I've ever been on the full track and to fly down the main straight into Turn 1 was so damn good. Experiencing maggots and beckets for the first time and flying down Hangar Straight was just an incredible sensation. So much so, I accidentally beat my horn. Oh my god, 
Like, I can't, I can't get used to driving things like this. Oh, it's so good. Like just having the car, just ah, oh, going through Magus and Beckett's like, yeah, yeah, take it. Oh, it was so good. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. It's, it's so cool. I can take that off my bucket list now. Ferrari, done. Yes. After our time out on track, I had a quick chat with Esteban on this, the preview day to the British Grand Prix at Silverstone on the 14th to the 16th of July. So we have the man of the moment, Esteban, who's been with us for most of the day, driving us around and uh, tearing us around with the Aston Martin. How have you found today? That was good fun, really good fun. I hope you, you enjoyed oh, it as much as so I did. Oh, so good. <laughs> I, I'm, it's a shame I didn't get to go in the aerial atom, yeah, but these things happen. So yes. we actually spoke at the Force India car launch and you mentioned about your whole wanted points every single race yeah, and yeah. you've got it so far. Yeah, it's been a really good start of the season I think um, not the optimum because I was on a big learning curve as well I had to uh, learn a lot yeah of you were learning it all weren't you? Yeah, yeah for sure uh, new tracks I was learning and everything so, uh, so not quite happy I think we we extract quite a lot from the car uh, which was not easy we didn't have a good pace uh, throughout all the races but uh, I think what we have achieved is amazing the new cars have you found like after a race you're like kind of on your neck or is it yeah you feel it you feel it a lot a lot more from compared to last year uh, for sure there's not one race, one single race where I didn't feel it a bit on my neck and, and the, pro the previous years, you know, we were not feeling it. So, uh, so no, it is, it is a lot harder for sure. Um, less than I was expecting though. Oh really? Uh, yeah, I saw less. that five kilograms yeah. you put on, isn't it? Yeah, I could have put maybe three, it would have been enough. Oh really? <laughs> but, uh, but no, it's, I think I, I overtrained, which is really good. Oh yeah, you're um, in better shape than you needed. Yeah, because I, I was in a great shape and I finished the Grand Prix quite, uh, quite easily. So that's really good. Esteban, thank you so much no for your problem. time. Great sport. <laughs> <laughs> These days just don't ever get old. What a day we've had today, driving the F430 Ferrari, Alistair getting the opportunity to drive the Aston Martin and then having a passenger lap with Esteban in the Aston Martin and just going on the simulators this morning. It has just been one glorious day here at a windy Silverstone as per usual. Esteban, what an awesome guy. Probably one of my favourite F1 drivers. Just the likability of the guy is so nice. Thank you to Silverstone and everyone else involved in doing this day because it's been amazing. And that's it. I'm Matt with WTF1. We're out of here. Welcome to a very special video where today WTF1 is in the Czech Republic. We're currently in Prague visiting the Thrustmaster Virtual GP Championship to take a look at the rise of esports and to see exactly where the motorsport gaming scene is currently and where it could go in the future.